In this video, we're going to discuss slope of a line. So slope of a line just represents how steep a line is. You can think of a hill. So the slope of the hill is how steep the hill is. And just think of, the, of a hill as a line. So the steepness of our line. So in math, whenever we talk about slope, we represent, by, represent it by a variable. So in this case, slope is always represented by the letter m. So whenever you see m equals, they're asking you for what is the slope. Okay, slope, when we have a graph or a line, we can find the slope by using rise over run. So the rise would be, if we have a graph, the rise would represent how much we change in the y value. Because if you rise, you're looking at the difference or the change in your y value. And a run would be going left to right or right to left, so a cross. And that would be the change in the x values. Because if I go this direction, it's a movement along the x axis. So rise over run is the same thing as a change in the y value over the change in the x value. And so that will give us the slope of our line. I'm going to zoom in a little, and we're going to find the slope of these two lines. So what you do is you always find two points on your graph. So the points would be where your line actually intersects with the coordinate grid. So on this one, we have points picked out. So this point, the line itself is intersecting with the coordinate grid. So that's why we can use that point. Again, this point, the line our graph itself is intersecting with the coordinate grid, so that's another point. If it's a straight line, there's no curve, no bend, the slope will be the same between any two points you pick as long as those points are where the line or graph intersects the coordinate grid. So this point here, it doesn't intersect the coordinate grid there, so I couldn't use that as a point couldn't use that one as a point, but I could use this one as a point also to find my slope. So you're finding the slope between any two points on your straight line. So I'm just going to use the points that were given. We're going to use rise over run in order to find the slope. So I like to start at my bottom most point. And I'm going to rise until I am parallel with my other point. So I'm going to go straight up along the coordinate grid. I'm going to use that line to go straight up until I'm parallel with my other point. See my other point's right here. So I'm parallel to it so I could potentially run over to that point. So this is how you find slope. My rise, anytime you're going up, you're going towards positive numbers. That means your rise is positive. If my rise was going down, going towards negative numbers, my rise would be negative. So in this case, I rose up one, two, three. I'm just gonna put that next to it. My rise was positive three. And again, slope is rise over run, so I'm gonna put the rise on top, the run on bottom. My run, I went to the right one to get over to my second point. Again, you're always following the coordinate grid. So you're making straight lines up and over. Okay, in this case, when I ran to the right, I ran towards positive numbers. Anytime you run to the right towards the positive numbers, your run's positive. If you ran to the left towards negative numbers, your run would be negative. So in this case, I ran one to the right, so my run is positive one. Okay, I can reduce this. Three over one is just three, so the slope of this line is three. Okay, let's try another one. So we're always creating this triangle. It's a right triangle that has a 90 degree angle when we're finding the slope using rise over run. Again, I always like to start with that bottom point. So when I rise, I'm rising up. If I started with my top point, my rise would be going down. It just means that it'd be negative. You can still go down, but I start with that bottom point. So I'm going to rise up, go straight up 
until you're parallel with your other point. See how my other point would be on this line? That's why I have to stop there. My rise was one, so slope, rise is positive one. And my run, from this point, I'm going to run over until I reach my second point. Okay, again, it's a point where my graph intersects with the coordinate grid. So my run was to the right, so it's positive. One, two, three, four units. So my slope is one over four or one fourth. So I wanna leave that in fraction form because eventually when you write this in an equation, you're going to want to be able to put it back into a graph. So you always want it in rise over run form. If it's a whole number, you can reduce it to the whole number because it's easy to just put it back over one. But if you ever get an improper fraction, just leave it improper unless it can be reduced to a single whole number. All right, so all I want you to do is use rise over run to find the slope between two points. Pretty easy, right? Now we're going to look at a different idea. Okay, so we can find the slope, but now let's look at, is our slope positive or is our slope negative? Okay, when you read a graph, so we're, remember a graph is our line, not the coordinate grid. When I say graph, I mean the line itself. When we read a graph, we always look at the graph from left to right, like we read left to right when I read a sentence. So we also look at our graph left to right. So this graph has a positive slope because if I go left to right, it's increasing going left to right, it's going up, meaning I know that slope's going to be positive. And I can double check myself. I'm going to use rise over run, I'm going to find the slope between the two points. Okay, so I'm going to start at my bottom point, rise up until I'm parallel with my other point. So it was going up as positive, so positive two. So I'm just gonna write the slope over here. Two over, all right, so now I'm going to run over to my other point, going right is positive, and I ran one, two. So two over two equals positive one. So I can see my slope is positive. So you can always double check yourself once you find the slope. You can look at, is it increasing? So it should be positive. This one, when I look at my graph going left to right, it's going down or decreasing. So I know that this slope has to be negative. Always read that graph. It's decreasing going left to right, so the slope's going to be negative. All right, so we haven't done one of these yet, so we're going to start with the bottom point. I'm gonna do the slope with you. Start with that bottom point. We're going to still rise up till we're parallel with our other point. I don't wanna go above the point, I wanna be right next to it but I went straight up from the bottom point. So for my slope, my rise, I went up one, positive one, over. All right, now my run, I have to run to the left this time because I'm going towards negative numbers, my run is negative. And I ran one, two, three units, so I'm counting the boxes that I went through. So it's negative three. So one over negative three. Whenever you have a negative in the bottom, I just pull it out. And this is the same thing as negative one third. Because a positive divided by a negative gives you a negative. So I know my slope is negative one third. All right, so that's positive and negative. The other two types of slopes, zero slope and undefined. So anytime you have a horizontal line, it goes straight across, the slope is zero. The reason is, if I have two points, I can pick any two points on that line because, well, they all intersect with the coordinate grid, but I'm just gonna pick these two points. My rise going from one point to the other, I'm just going to start with this point. My rise would be zero. And my run would be one, two, three, four, five, six to get the other point. Zero divided by six. Well, if you have zero and you divide it by anything, it's always equal to zero. So my slope is zero between the two points. Anytime you see a flat, a horizontal line, the slope is always zero. 
Okay, undefined slope. This one's a little tricky for some people to understand. The slope is undefined because if we write out the slope, rise over run, I'm just gonna pick these two points. Again, I could have picked any point where my graph intersects with the coordinate grid, but I'm gonna use the two given. So my rise from one point to the other is two, and I don't run left to right at all, so it's two over zero. Okay, in math, you can never divide by zero. Never, ever divide by zero. It's not possible to take two and break it up into groups of zero. It is impossible. That means this does not equal zero. This is undefined because you cannot divide by zero. So anytime you have a vertical line, straight up and down, it is undefined slope. Do not write zero slope. They are very different. All right, so I'm gonna give you four graphs. You're gonna use what I just told you about finding the slope of a line, and you're going to find the slope of each of these lines, each of these graphs. When you're ready for the answers, come on back, and I'll go through them with you. All right, I'm gonna zoom back out. All right, so the first one, I'm gonna start with my bottom point. I'm gonna rise up till I'm parallel with my other point. I rose one, two, three. I'm going to run to the left. And if you wanna put the number next to it, put the number next to it. It was positive three going up. When I go to the left, I know it's negative. One, two, three, four. So negative four. Again, positive divided by a negative is a negative, so it's negative three, four. So I'm going to leave that as a fraction. All right, this one, and again, it is going down, so I know I was right, it is negative. This one's going up, so it has to be positive. Start at my bottom point, rise up till I'm parallel. Rise was one, two, three, over. Run to the right, so it's positive, one, two. So three over two. It is improper, but when you're writing slope, you leave it improper. You reduce it as much as possible, I can't divide top or bottom by the same thing, so it's reduced, but you leave it improper. All right, this one, start at this bottom point. I'm going to rise, going up as positive, so one, two, three, four, five, six, over. I'm going to the right, so that's positive. One, two, three, four, five, six, fifths or six over five and my last one okay this one's going down from left to right so I know it's going to be negative I'm going to start at my bottom point I'm going to go one two three four up remember going up is positive I'm going to run to the left one two running to the left is negative so negative two all right this I can reduce to a whole number four divided by negative two is negative two. I could have used this point, which would have given me positive two over negative one, which again would have given me negative two. So you can see between any two points, your slope is always going to be the same. 